Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you another update. This is the 1950 Ford F47, or for our US viewers, an F1 uh, Ford pickup truck. In our previous video, we shared with you where we had the, uh, the cab of this truck on a dolly, um, and we had just pulled out of the paint booth, but it was an overcast day, um, and we really couldn't see um, too much of it. But um, now that we have it inside, uh, what we've done is we have all the proper grommets and hardware and we've now bolted uh, the cab to the frame assembly. So with the frame, I apologize for everything being so dusty, with the frame completely redone, uh, just to recap, we had the frame on a, on a rotisserie and we, um, we reapplied, uh, we have three coats of a really nice uh, two-part black finished paint. Um, and we, got, we did the suspension, the steering, and the rear differential. So with the frame um, all set and ready, um, and the cab all done, we'll just share with you um, this stage right now. So with it bolted to the frame, we have all the proper spacers and grommets and all new hardware. Um, in our previous videos, um, where we received this truck from another shop, um, this firewall and the whole bottom of the floor um, it was all sprayed with some different black type products like Rocker Guard, uh, a textured stuff, and then flat black paint. And it just didn't look very nice in my opinion. So um, when we sandblasted uh, the safe sections of the cab uh, to bare metal, we also did the firewall and the whole underside. And then we, uh, with the bare metal, we made a lot of uh, metal fabrication repairs to all the rusted sections. And after all the new metal was in and we ground everything smooth, um, we sealed the whole cab, this firewall, the bottom and everything with uh, black two-part epoxy. And then we shared with you obviously bodywork and this nice beige paint finish. So now you get to see basically what it would look like if they painted this truck this color in 1950. This is how they would do it. So the front, whole front firewall um, is painted the same color as the body. Now what we did is we painted the complete underside firewall and everything that you're going to see is painted this correct Ford beige color. Um, so we like the detail work um, with this under the, uh, basically in the firewall engine bay area. And as we start coming down to this side, um, so we're on our passenger side, what we've done is we've basically pre-hung the doors. Um, so we know the cab is in the correct position. Um, you can see how nice the detail work is now uh, with the hinges compared to what they looked like before. And then you can see the alignment of the doors. Now we don't have a uh, final adjustment yet, so this is just a, a pre-hang, if you will. Um, so we have uh, handles and door lock coming, um, and then we're going to replace this hinge pin. I'll share with you on the other side, um, in, this in this style, like 1954, um, if you had um, a mirror on the passenger side, the actual top hinge pin was taller and it received a kind of like a swan style stem, chrome, uh, with the mirror. Now this truck is a base truck, it didn't come with the mirror on this passenger side, uh, but we're upgrading this for our client a little bit who's going to drive it quite a bit. Um, so we're going to replace this pin um, with the taller pin and it's going to have two mirrors, both driver and passenger side. Um, so we have that on order right now. So with the door, um, something I'd like to point out, it's, it's quite dusty because it was on a flat uh, surface before we installed it, so I apologize for that. Um, I'm not an expert in Ford trucks, but I believe uh, this door is off of a newer truck, like probably a 53 Ford, I believe, uh, because we have a hole here for a lock cylinder. Um, and I believe the first year for that uh, on the passenger door was 53. Um, so we're going to order the correct uh, grommet and lock cylinder um, so we won't be able to tell the difference. No one really noticed at car shows and so on. Um, I don't think everybody would ever know that uh, we have a lock on a 1950. So when we open the door, you can see now everything matches. Um, we're still waiting for some hardware. We've got some uh, hardware that's on back order. So we just have these for now just to temporarily hold the doors on. We'll get the correct... Uh, bolts for that. But you can see the inside of the door because we painted everything at the same time um, and with the same number of coats. So now 
the inside, the outside, and the dash, um, all of the paint matches. Uh, the detail along the rocker panel um, was, I would say, questionable at best before, and now we have this finished off, uh, factory correct, and then we have the door panels done, um, the inside door jams, and then when the camera person comes in, you can look around the back window frame. Uh, most of this um, is covered with, uh, with um, a headliner and different material. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply a, a sound deadener or sound insulation package uh, to the complete interior before we install uh, the headliner and uh, the material by the firewall and then we're going to upgrade to a carpet. So uh, we'll have a really nice carpet here with some finishing trim. Uh, so we'll make sure that we sound deaden all of that. Uh, there's new rubber strips coming in quite a bit of hardware. So as we come along the back, uh, you can see uh, with the lighting, now the fluorescent lighting does throw the shading off a little bit. Uh, it's been very dark and cloudy here <coughs> and a substantial amount of rain. So once we finally get a, a break in the weather um, and it's a sunny day, I'd like to share with you, we'll just do another walk around um, outside. But the paint finish turned out very, very well. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it is an authentic Ford beige color, um, but this truck didn't come beige. It wasn't available in 1950. So this is a color that our client picked out. Um, it's a premium single stage paint, and this is straight out of the gun. We haven't done any wet sanding or polishing of any kind. As I mentioned in the earlier video, uh, the back of the truck, the back of the cab, most of this is covered um, by the bed, uh, but we like to finish the cabs off completely and treat it all with the same number of coats of paint and primer um, as the roof and the rest of the vehicle. Um, so this will last quite a bit longer in my opinion. And then we can see the frame as things come together, other than it being really dusty, uh, we have the factory correct gray shocks uh, to the original rear end. And uh, so you can see the contrast coming together quite nicely now with the, with the black and the beige. And then we just have um, <coughs> Pardon me, some tape on this side just because of the, uh, the door hinge itself. We don't have the strikers and everything hooked up yet. So, uh, once again, when you're on the driver's side, you can see, first of all, the dashboard, how nice and clean and smooth everything is. And then, if you go above the dash, you can see where the, the windshield frame is. And then, above that header piece, you can see the detail. It goes up quite high, um, it's tall right up into here. Um, so that's all finished, um, finished paint and then the headliner starts in that section. And then you can see the outline of the door uh, where the trim is going to go on um, and there'll be some seals that go around the doors and the kick panels. And as we come along the back and around the door openings in the driver's side, uh, you can see how nice and smooth everything is. So there's nothing questionable in terms of the, the body work. want to make sure that it, uh, it looks like um, it's brand new and uh, hasn't had any modifications done to it. You can see the, the door jams themselves. Um, so we'll just set back here for now. And as we come to this side, as I mentioned as we started the video on the passenger side, this is a correct hinge because um, of this raised portion. Um, so this hinge is ready for um, the mirror that goes on the exterior of this door. So we'll get the same kind of pin. This one's worn, so we'll replace it uh, with new and we'll paint the cap before we install the new one. Um, this obviously is where the logo goes. Uh, being the uh, Canadian version, it's going to say F47. If it was an American version, it would say F1. There'd be a medallion here and then our fenders get bolted on. You can see the detail work here um, where the hinge gets attached for the hood and um, so the body line, when the hood comes down, you won't see this, but when it's open, we want to make sure that this looks just as nice as the rest of the truck does. And then once again, we end up in the front. <coughs> Pardon me. So you'll uh, basically see the amount of detail that's required. Um, so with this being all clean now, um, we're preparing all of the parts or our steering components. Um, we're rebuilding the heater box and heater core assembly and then we'll paint it the contrasting correct factory colors. And then once we start the reassembly and we get the steering box in um, and some of the components in the dash and the upgraded wiring harness, we'll share with you another update. 
So this is the 1950 Ford F47 pickup. I thank you for watching. I'm John from Last Chance on Restore.com.